What's going on guys? Angry Benny here bringing you a first episode of the setup explanation and on this episode we're gonna cover the aerodynamics, okay? The wing part. And it says in the description that higher wing angles produce more downforce which improves grip but also increases drag which dramatically reduces straight line speed. Now, what does this mean? If you go as high as you can, okay, 11-11, you're going to have the most downforce, so you're going to be the fastest during the corner, okay, but you're going to have the most drag, so you're going to be the slowest during the straights, okay, these go downforce and drag go hand in hand, okay, if you go to 1 1, the opposite end of the scale, you're going to have the least downforce, so you're going to be the slowest during the corner, and you're going to have the least drag, so you're going to be the fastest during the straights. Okay, so this all depends on the circuit. For example, I'm in Italy here on time trial. So my normal setup is 5.5, five, okay? I'll, I want to have a bit less downforce and a bit less drag because Italy is mostly straight dominated. It doesn't have a lot of corners. So I want to maximize my speed during the straights, okay? So I'm going to have less, less front and rear wing, okay? So on the opposite end of the scale, if you go to Monaco, which has a lot of corners and doesn't have a lot of straights, you're going to want to maximize your ability to go fastest during the corners. So you'll probably want to run very, very high wings. For example, 11-11, okay? That's basically it when it comes to the downforce and the drag, okay? As high, go as high as you can when you want to maximize how fast you are doing the corners when it's a, a circuit that it's mostly dominating dominated in the corners okay and you want to go as low as you can when it's a circuit mostly dominated by the straights okay but you don't want you don't always want to have them exactly the same okay you can play around with them i would recommend that you don't go a higher gap than two points okay so if you have for example 9 11 wings okay so you have less in the front what this is going to do is you're going to have a lot more stability in the rear okay this will improve your confidence doing to the corners that you're not going to spin because you have a lot more rear end stability but it will also give you understeer okay and you will have less rotation on the opposite if you have less rear wing so in this case 11.9 you're going to be more front front end dominated okay this will give you a lot more rotation but it will make you more prone to spinning because the rear end will be a lot more loose okay that's basically it that I wanted to cover, okay? To summarize, higher wings give you more downforce and more drag and you want this type of setup to go fastest during the corners and you want, and if you have 1-1, one, one, you will get the least amount of downforce and drag and you want this type of setup if you have a circuit that is mostly straight okay you want to have more front wing if you have more want if you want to have more rotation in your car okay but this will decrease your stability and you want to have more rear wing if you want to have more stability in your car if you're spinning a lot for example okay guys i hope you found this helpful if you did please leave a like subscribe and until next time guys, bye.